The European Commission is rather undisturbed in the face of this new wave of COVID-19. Brussels has slightly increased its GDP growth forecast this year to 5% and expansion will continue next year with a forecast of 4.3%. The European economy has recovered extremely well after last year's historic recession caused by the pandemic and despite the current wave, it should resist well. In particular, France experienced one of the strongest growths in the euro area with a forecast of 6.5% of GDP growth this year. Today, European countries are relying on vaccination and while 75% of the European adult population is vaccinated, the regional disparities are significant, especially in Bulgaria and Romania, the least vaccinated countries in Europe. In Hungary, the Prime Minister Viktor Orban ordered a partial lockdown to restrain the contamination. In the UK, where the post-pandemic economic recovery is already slowing down, household consumption is struggling to take off, and the government may not wait until a new wave arrives to accelerate its vaccination policy to avoid new preventive measures. If the restrictions come back, as is already the case in some European countries, there is a risk that certain phenomena will occur, such as the shortage of raw material, as it will affect European countries, as well as the United States and China. The European Commission is concerned that labor shortages in some sectors will persist, particularly in sectors where the economic rebound is strongest. This could have the effect of increasing wages to attract more candidates and thus cause inflation that is frightening economists.